First, a breaking health alert. A South Stanley High School student has died after contracting bacterial meningitis. The student identified as 15 year old Jade Missenheimer. His dad sharing these pictures of the teen, telling us he's heartbroken over this sudden loss. The Stanley County School District sent a message to parents today saying they are working closely with local and state health officials. Bacterial meningitis is a highly contagious, infectious disease, but health officials stressing they do not think the rest of the student body is at risk. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendes is live at 6. Tanya, you spoke with local health officials about this. What do they want parents to know? So health officials working closely with the schools right now, and they made sure to send information home to family so everybody would know more about what bacterial meningitis is. Certainly Jaden's family now finding that out the hard way as they try to figure out how they're going to pay for a funeral for a teen who they thought had his whole life ahead of him. He was just 15 years old, so when Jaden Meisenheimer got strep, his dad thought he'd just miss a few days of school and be back to normal. But days passed and Jaden wasn't getting better. His father took him to the hospital where he was diagnosed with bacterial meningitis. Jaden died yesterday afternoon. The Stanley County Health Department confirming the fatal case. Meningitis is usually spread through contact with others, spread through saliva and mucus. The reason we want all teenagers to get this vaccine is because teenagerdom is the most likely time they're going to come into contact with these bacteria that cause meningitis. The health department telling us the particular type of meningitis Jaden had does not put others at risk. South Stanley High School sending this note home to parents, letting them know they don't believe other students are at risk and they don't think any preventative measures have to be taken. Jaden had only been a student at South Stanley High for nine days. His new start at a new school cut short. His family grieving his young life lost. And when I spoke to the father and the aunt today, they were still in shock and devastated. And as I mentioned before, they're now trying to figure out how to pay for this funeral, an expense they did not see coming. The family has set up an account at Wells Fargo in Jaden Meisenheimer's name if you would like to help them. Reporting live, I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte. So sad, Tanya, thank you.